Who you want? Who you like? Baby, tell me who you loving. Last time I checked, it was me, but you bugging. What's going on, Bella Gang? It's your girl, Lover Natural, back at it again with another Juicy Girl Talk. Bella Gang, best friends. In this Juicy Girl Talk video, I'm going to be telling you how to make new friends. Now, if you're watching this, you probably lost your old friends. You probably had fallouts with your old friends. We all been there, done that. Ding, ding, ding. I've been there. i done that. And it forced me to, you know get new friends you know what i'm saying and sometimes you know having new friends is a blessing Cer certain fallouts that you have with people can literally bless your life you'll be surprised about the new opportunities new friends can bring you you know the new happiness new friends can give you so if you feel down right now and you feel like damn i have no friends i don't know how to make new friends sis i got you i wrote four steps in this video that's going to guarantee you to get new friends friends that you have in common with and all that but before we get into that juicy girl talk on finding new friends i just want to say real quick talk about this hair this hair that i'm currently rocking is by virgo hair they are a vendor from aliexpress this is their card right here. So when you receive the hair, you're going to get the hair individually packed. And it has the tag on it with what type of hair this is, which is, Mal I said Malaysian. This is Peruvian straight hair. This hair looks exactly like it looks on their website, which I was really impressed by. Because you know with AliExpress, is a little sketchy now. You don't know if you're going to get good hair, bad hair. You just don't know. It's like finding a good man. You don't know. In the beginning, it's good. And then after that, it's, it's all a hot ass mess but with virgo hair i can tell you i had this hair for about a week now i've been rocking it and no tangling no shedding lately i've been getting some really good hair from these companies aliexpress is stepping it up and i also like that this hair has low density it's you know a little bit on the thin side not too thin you know but i'm happy because guys i was able to do this nice side part sleek um ponytail and i'm loving this i was actually gonna pay to get my hair done um th this style and i said you know what let me bleach these knots let me try to make this wig look like it's my hair and boom it looks like it's my hair like i love this peruvian straight hair because i feel like it mimics relaxed perm textured hair and their prices on there is truly it's affordable it's really affordable so i'm gonna leave all the hair information in the description box below so make sure be sure guys that you go check this hair out this hair is by virgo hair once again from aliexpress yes aliexpress i'm shook guys like aliexpress is really stepping their game up well certain vendors not all vendors on aliexpress is good but look at this like and all i used on my hair was water and I thought my Gossip Bee Free Spray was right here, but all I used was water and then Gossip Bee Free Spray, you know, to take away any, any flyaways. Like I said, no shedding. This hair is 22 inches of goodness, honey. 22 inches of goodness. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this girl talk. How to make new friends. Love you guys. Oh, and don't forget to connect with me, Bella Gang. Follow me on Instagram at Bella underscore bars. I'm going to say that again. Bella underscore bars. Follow me. Connect with me. I love you guys so much. Let's get right into the video. Okay, my beautiful queens. So, number one, how to make new friends. I wrote this down like I write everything down because I forget. I don't know. I'm getting older. I'm forgetting everything lately. I don't know. But, number one, I wrote... <clears throat> I'm so extra like, girl, sis, get to the point. All right, number one. You have to be open to meeting new friends. So if you want to meet new friends, you can't say, <clears throat> I miss my old friends. Oh, I, you know, I don't know if meeting new friends, I'm going to have the same connection like I did with my old friends. Like, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm not really open to it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm drinking some water. If you want new friends, you got to change your energy. Literally, your energy can drive people away sometimes you probably like damn i'm a good ass person why am i making friends it's because you, your energy is so closed off your vibe is off you know what i'm saying you are very like you give off that type of um Mm, I'm cool, but bitch, don't get too close kind of thing because I've been hurt. You know what I'm saying? You got to wash that away. It's almost like if you want to find a new man. You can't want to find a new man and every man you see, I say, hey, how you doing? Oh, no, I have a boyfriend. Mm -mm, I'm not interested. I'm uh, I'm not single. Even though you are single, but you don't even want to give it a chance. Sis, if you want to meet new friends, you got to give it a chance. You got to be open. The first step in meeting new friends is you got to be open. Not everybody's going to do you like your best friend, your last best friend, or your ex-best friend 
around or the people that hurt you, okay? Do not become the people that hurt you, sis. Don't. You got to be open. If you're a really good person and you had to fall out with somebody, it's their loss, not yours. You know what I'm saying? Don't let what happened with other people determine your future relationships because if you do, you're going to mess up every um, potential friendship, really good friendship you come across. So make sure that you are open, sis. That's number one. Write this down. Be open to meeting new friends. Don't be so close off. Okay? Smile. Like, it's, it's going to be okay. I know that it's so hard to move on from people that wronged you. And you just want <clears throat> to, you just want to, you know, just act the way, you just want to act the way people hurt you. But that's not, first of all, number one, that's not a way to live. And number two, God don't bless the miserable. He blesses the people that, you know, let things go and allow him to, you know, allow him to work in your life. Like, if you want God to send you, like, real friends, you got to get rid of that animosity in your heart and just be open. Just be open. You're going to see, um, it's like, it's going to be like a, a weight lifted off your shoulders, a burden lifted off your chest. Cause I used to be those, I used to be that girl that mm, I don't want no friends, please. I don't want no friends, but now I'm a little more open, you know what I'm saying? And a little <laughs> way more happier than I was. Cause I was in a really deep, um, I had that mindset for a long time where I don't trust nobody. Get away from me. I like, you know, just doing YouTube, staying in my own box, in my own room. I don't. I used to not want to go out. Then I said, no, you got to change that mindset because it was turning me into a person that I, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And I want to always give off a positive energy, and so should you because you you get back what you give in the world. You 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 give positivity, you're gonna get positivity. A lot of opportunities. You give negative, you're gonna have a negative life. Everywhere you go, it's just like negative drama follows you. That's because of the type of person you are. So you got to be open, open your heart to new friends. Number two, I wrote, hang out at your favorite spots. <clears throat> hang out at your favorite spots that way you can find friends that share the same interests as you so you're probably like damn how am i gonna meet new friends because you know what i'm saying i'm into this i'm into that which is a good thing because you want to have friends that you have um a lot of stuff in common or just gonna be like a superficial ass friendship and you don't want that you don't want friends just to have it just to say oh you want to go out you don't want to have friends for that for me quality over quantity beats out, beats it beats the odds at all times i never been the type to have a whole bunch of friends i rather one or two really good um friends that get me and that we're we're like really similar okay so that's really important into not only finding new friends but keeping real friends okay how many times that we are friends with people and you could tell like there's there's nothing there's nothing significant about you guys friendship it's always like mm, girl let's get dressed up let's go out but you know you can't really have a heart to heart with that person you don't really trust them because you feel like you know you you tell them something they're gonna tell the whole world those are not your friends you know what i'm saying there's there's two different type of friends in this world friends that you go out with and friends that have your back they like your sister that's the type of friend you want to have you don't really want to have friends that they're good for the aesthetic they're good for pictures you know a whole gang of pretty bad bitches in your picture no you really don't want that sis you want friends that's ride or die do you Three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, you need them there by your side. Loyalty over everything. Loyalty is royalty, I tell you. Okay? So when you when you hang out, when you hang out at your favorite spot, maybe you're really into skating. Go to the skating ring. Even if it's by yourself, you know, skate by yourself. I'm telling you, like the more you go to these places that you familiar with, that you like hanging out, you're going to have one, at least one person come up to you like, oh, I, I saw you last week. Yeah, yeah, I saw you too. Da -da -da. That's how you got to start a conversation. You know what I'm saying? That's where your, your common ground stems from. And then your, your relationship can grow from there. So you got to be open to going places by yourself, places that you like going, maybe shopping. I don't know. It could be Forever 21. And you have a similar outfit on like this, this other girl that looks kind of similar to you or resemble your style then oh i like your outfit oh girl da, da, da. follow me on instagram you don't gotta get each other's number and kick it off right there follow me on instagram you guys follow each other you know you guys build a, a, a relationship from there and then next you know it oh you want to hang out yeah we hang out now boom bam bam you got a new friend <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's just that easy it's just that simple a lot of times we think that oh finding new friends is gonna take forever but you'll be surprised you know you can find friends in church maybe you go to church and every sunday you know i don't know like you 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 ask to join the choir and then when you join the choir 
or you, you know you, you join bible study on wednesdays or something like that that's how you meet new people you got to be social so if you want to find friends it's very important that you are not anti-social honey you got to get into being social again like you did with your other friends just because you lost your other friends don't mean that you lost yourself you got to get back in the world and just you know make yourself available not too available or desperate but make yourself available to new friendships so definitely 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 you want to go to your old hangout spots and just chill out you're gonna and eventually make new friends i promise you i promise you okay so number three this is very, very important in meeting new friends, to making new friends, to having lasting relationships with new friends. I'm sorry, guys, but for some reason, I'm extra, <clears throat> I thought it was extra dry in this video. Um, number three, I wrote, be patient, sis. Be patient. Be patient. Don't force friendships. Like I said before, quality over quantity. Like, like I said, once again, like I said before, don't be so desperate for friends that you become friends with anybody, especially friends that, you know, you really don't really have much in common with, but, you know, it just kind of fills a void in your heart that's been empty for a long time from missing your old friends. Because then it's going to come off as desperate, and then you're going to find yourself even more depressed when you start hanging out with the, these people that you don't really connect with and vibe with. You're going to start thinking to yourself, like, damn, you're literally going to be at that hookah spot or whatever spot you're at. You know, everybody's turning up, you're going to be like, damn, this is not my crowd. Like, I'm really not into this. I'm really not into this. Like... What am I doing? Don't you don't you don't want to find yourself in that space. You know what I'm saying? Luckily for me, I've never been that desperate. I have three other sisters, thank God, where I can, you know, anytime I have a fallout with somebody or whatever, I can just hang out with my sister. Especially my little sister. We have so much in common. We have like seriously, she's so funny and I love that. And um I didn't even write this in this video, but maybe this is the perfect time to get close to your siblings. Comment below if you have like mad siblings, but you guys are not close. You guys have your own friends. Every Every time, like, I remember back in the day, my mom used to be like, oh, bring your sister with you. And I used to go out with my best friend. I was like, oh, my God, I'm staying home. Like, no, mom, I don't want to go out with her. Like, I'm six years older than her. We have nothing in common. No, Courtney, go back. I don't want to. Like, I used to go so hard. Like, I'm not going I'm not going to the park with you. Da, 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 da. No. And now we're just inseparable. Like, she's 22. I'm 28. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a, it's a big age gap. But we have so much in common. She's so funny. Get to know your siblings. You'll be surprised how much in common you have with your siblings. You know what I'm saying? This is the perfect time to connect with your siblings. And while you're connecting with your siblings, be patient. I got some lipstick on. T. Be patient with your siblings because, you, you know, not be patient with your siblings, obviously. It's a give and take. You always got to be patient with your siblings because they're going to be in your life for the rest of your life. So you might as well get close to them. But that's besides the point. While you hanging out with your family, your cousins, your siblings, maybe you don't have siblings to hang out with your cousins, but you want your own friends, just just be patient. Because like I said, you don't want it's quality over quantity. You don't want to end up with four or five bitches in your phone that you really don't rock with. Okay, let's be honest. You don't want to be that girl. It's not worth it. It's having friends that you don't have that you don't have things in common. It's pretty much like not having friends at all sis like literally like not having friends at all because you don't feel fulfilled you don't feel like you know that enjoyment i know me like with my best friend like i used to be so hyped that uh, if, if, it's just, if it's just me and her we gonna have a good time we could literally have a good time with us chilling in my room us going we used to go to the laundry mat two three o'clock in the morning just that bonding time you know anywhere it was just so lit and that's what you i want you guys to experience that same litness in your friendship that love that sisterhood you know what I'm saying? And you, if, if you're hanging around people that you don't have much in common with, they're not going to be down with going to the laundromat with you at 3 o'clock in the morning and getting some McDonald's or whatever and just chilling out because y'all have nothing in common, nothing to talk about. So it's going to be forceful. Don't force friendships. The same way I don't want you to force relationships, don't force friendships because it's just not worth it, sis. I'm telling you, it's just not worth it. And number four, the final thing I... I kind of touch on this with number one, but I'm going to repeat this for number four because it's essentially important in order for you to um, have new friends and meet new friends. Water break. Woo. <clears throat> Gotta stay hydrated, sis. Number four, I wrote, change your attitude. Change your attitude and don't be so closed off. And I wrote this down twice, guys, because I want to be more specific about um, change your attitude and don't be closed off. Me, personally, I, like I said, uh, number one, 
I was one of those people, once I had like a fallout with my friend, I don't want to talk to nobody. Even friends or associates that I had that could have potentially been really good friends with me, they would hit me up like, hey sis, we got to hang out, da 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 And I was like, yes girl, we going to hang out. But in my head, I'm like, but you're not my best friend though. Like, you're not my best friend. Like, I would be so closed off. Like, mm, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the same because, you know, what me and her had, I ain't gonna have with no other bitch. Like, you know, it's almost like, like, it's, for having friendships, like close friendships, it's like a thin line to having a relationship with a guy. You ever, you know, break up with a guy that you thought you was gonna be with for the rest of your life and then a potential comes in your life, be like, oh no, cause you're not like Derek. Like, if you're not like Derek, I don't want you. If it's not Derek, I don't wanna be with nobody and my life is over, but you can't have that mentality. My life is over if I don't have somebody. First of all, um, you gotta be, you gotta understand that any friendship or relationship you have, you have to keep in the back of your mind that there's a possibility that one day that person may not be in your life. You know, God forbid they could pass away, they could betray you, they could move away. So you always got to mentally prepare yourself that I could potentially lose this person one day. You know why you got to prepare yourself? So that when the day comes, you don't lose your mind, you don't lose yourself. You just be like, mm, I felt this coming. A lot of the times we get disappointed because, and people, because like, damn, I thought this person was going to be my life forever. But the minute you put a label on somebody, and when you put labels on somebody, you expect them to live up to that, to, to this idea of being the per perfect boyfriend, the perfect um, best friend. So when that person betrays you or anything, you know, it's like your whole life is over. But God says this all the time. You cannot put your faith in man. And what he means by man in biblical terms is woman or or male or female. Pretty much when you put your faith into people, you set yourself up to get disappointed every time. That's why I me, mean, I don't even ask people for help. I don't even ask because when they say no, I know I'm, it's just going to get me tight because I know I'm the type of person that to give you the last, my last. And if I ask somebody that I know have it and they say no, it's disappointing. But then I set myself up for, for failure because you knew by asking this person that what, what the what the what the answer was gonna be. The same thing with having a best friend or whatever. I used to be the type where, oh my God, I can't believe I lost my best friend. I never would have thought you would did that. And I just ultimately blame myself because you can never put in your mind that this person can never hurt you. This is my right hand. This is my left hand because. You know, look at Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus and ended up killing himself because he sold Jesus out for some gold and some fortune. You'll be surprised about the people that can backstab you, the people that can set you up. So like I said before, certain fallouts can bless your life, but you got to be open. You got to change your attitude. Like I said, I was the type of person, I didn't, I didn't want to change my attitude. For a few months, I was just like in my cocoon state where I didn't want to talk to nobody. I wasn't open until... Like, I met new friends. Like, you guys see in my vlog, my, my friend Aisha, she's really cool. We're so different, but it's like, she's like the sophisticated version of me, and I'm just like the ratchet version of me, I guess. I don't know. I don't consider myself ratchet. I'm just very extra, guys. Like, you see, like, very extra. Like, she would never wear this right here. Like, she's good with her, you know, her jeans, her denim, her little Louis next to her, her little fur, her little bougie-ass attitude. But it works for us because we are so different people, but we connect in, um, in a, a strong, a, a strong um, level. You know what I'm saying? We come together, and it's like we're balanced. So, I'm not trying to say, like, oh, um, you gotta get friends friends that's exactly like you that seem to that share the same interests like, like you because that's almost impossible if you do kudos to you that's a really good popping ass lit ass um friendship but if you find somebody like Asia like you've seen in my video you see that we completely different that can work out too and balance you guys out too because you guys can learn a lot from each other that way so that pretty much sums up my video, my girl talk on how to make new friends. I hope this girl talk really helped you guys and that from this video, you can find new friends and you guys can comment below and tell me all about it. Give me a two, three months update on, you know, how, how you're doing with finding new friends and all of that. Um, because, you know, having new friends, it is a breath of fresh air. It, it is a good feeling when you have a fresh start at life. So sometimes when you have a fresh start, that means having new friends and there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So without further do i'm gonna end I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end this video don't forget to like comment comment subscribe and follow me on instagram at bella underscore bars once again this hair this poppy ass hair will be in the description box below love you guys so much until next time bella gang stay safe stay prayed up praying for you love you bye